Hey YouTube, it's ACU, and today we have something quick to discuss in the world of iOS. After taking last week off from releasing 9.3.3 firmwares in light of iOS 10, both revealing and releasing the first beta iteration to registered developers, Apple has seeded iOS 9.3.3 beta 3. So let's go ahead and open up Apple's developer portal here, which has actually changed since my last beta update video. For those of you who are familiar with my beta update videos, you'll know that we're always able to access it without having to sign in to Apple's Developer Center, and it looks kind of nicer. Well, now Apple's kind of unified things, so we have Xcode iOS, what's now Mac OS, Watch OS, TV OS, and more all in one place, and of course, it doesn't quite look as nice. But let's make do with what we have. We are signed in here, so unfortunately, you guys won't be able to see it unless you have an Apple Developer account. Up at the top, we just have the latest betas, things like Mac OS 10.12, iOS 10, and Watch OS 3. But when we scroll down, we have the betas for more immediate release, things like tvOS 9.2.2, Mac OS 10.11.6, or what we're going to be focusing on today, iOS 9.3.3 beta 3. So when we go ahead and get a close up of this, you'll see that it was released today, June 21st, 2016. When we expand this here, we just have the restore images, so the IPSW that are available for download for Mac as well as Windows based PCs and of course restore inside of iTunes and even though we have this little release notes link right here you'll see that when I tap onto it we have absolutely no outward facing changes that you guys or even myself the end user would actually notice so we have really virtually no changes inside of iOS 9.3.3 for the end user, 9.3.3, like 9.3.2, is just focused on stability as well as bug patches. However, we haven't even heard word of significant things that have been patched inside of 9.3.3, which is rather peculiar. So of course, as I've been saying for a while now, Apple's trying to phase out iOS 9.x in general in favor of iOS 10, because we've only received the first beta of iOS 10. There are definitely more to come before it's going to be released this fall, of course, like likely in September if past trends are to continue. So Apple's going to stop developing for iOS 9.3.x. It's only a matter of time. They're just trying to stabilize things with this latest release, 9.3.3. And of course, instead of issuing the public build, we have the third beta today. So that kind of delays things out. We don't know for how long, so we don't know whether Apple's going to release iOS 9.3.3 beta 4 or just the public version in either one or two weeks, because of course, Apple likes to keep their beta releases either one or two weeks apart. But either way, it's most likely that the next untethered jailbreak will be for iOS 9.3.3. After all, it is the smart thing to do. We've waited this long, and why issue a new jailbreak for 9.3.2 when it could so easily be patched in iOS 9.3.3 before it's released to the public. And of course, there will always be those who will say, yeah, but there's going to be another new firmware that will just patch it anyway. And of course, that is definitely true. But if Apple has a firmware that's in the pipeline that we know is currently in beta stages, then that will be released so much quicker than something that isn't. For example, iOS 9.3.4 after 9.3.3, if there is a jailbreak for the former of those two firmwares. Of course, the latter of which being purely hypothetical at this point in time. So what do I mean by all that? Unfortunately, we just don't know when the next jailbreak is going to be released, and there are actually some benefits if developers wanted to issue a utility for iOS 9.3.2. Most notably, there's been a powerful exploit that hacker Luca Tedesco has highlighted in an actual video. It's a web-based exploit, which means that we could get something like jailbreak me if a developer wanted to take that task upon themselves and actually complete it because that exploit is patched in iOS 9.3.2. So it would kind of be like a fool's errand to know that it's going to be patched immediately the very same day that 9.3.3 drops without any extra work on Apple's part. So they won't have to reverse engineer anything or try to patch the exploit because it's already patched. But even beyond that, there are some really interesting things going on right now. For instance, the Pangu team, of course, is going to hold MoSec 2016 on July 1st, the mobile security conference where they're going to give an incredible incredibly interesting talk. Now, I detailed that at length in this video here. I'll have it linked in your cards. I definitely recommend watching through that because we could receive not only word or information concerning the possibility of a new jailbreak on July 1st when MOSEC is going to be held, but also possibly a 9.3.x jailbreak demonstration. They're going to highlight what appears to be a vulnerability that can be
be exploited through the camera. So this seems like it could be a hardware exploit and a pretty powerful one at that. Who knows what they'll be able to do with it, but it's certainly exciting. And then of course, even beyond the past exploit that hacker Luca Tedesco actually highlighted and employed in a jailbreak demonstration, we have this exploit, which is one that Luca himself discovered. The other one wasn't. It was just an exploit that was already public knowledge. But this exploit worked on the past version of iOS 9.3.3 beta, and it alone won't be enough to create a jailbreak, but it's definitely something. And as I mentioned previously, there are some really interesting things going on in the world of jailbreaking and iOS in general right now. It's almost as if at any point in time, a new jailbreak will be released for iOS 9.3.x. It seems like Pangu and or Taiji, whichever team or group ends up releasing the next jailbreak is just waiting for the opportunity moment to strike. Now I'm going to keep you guys completely updated anytime anything happens. Be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. That way I'll keep you fully updated and informed. Of course, we don't know when a new jailbreak is going to drop right now just because there are absolutely so many factors at play. It's going to be very, very difficult to predict it. So the only thing that we can do is try to gauge what's going to happen the next time anything else specifically anything big happens, that's when we're going to know. And remember, jailbreak groups like Pangu as well as Taiji just released jailbreak utilities, that's it. They come out of the blue, we don't expect them, so don't look for any sort of update from those teams. We can kind of try to piece together an update or two of our own, but beyond that, they're just going to release a jailbreak. The next really exciting thing to look forward to is going to be at the beginning of July, July 1st, MOSAC 2016, unless something happens in the end term, something surprising, which it definitely could. Remember, I'll keep you updated. Just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.